The Odyssey of the Mind is an international youth competition focused on developing inventive solutions to arcane technical, structural or engineering problems and presenting them in a compelling and performative manner. Honda's all-new, fifth-generation Odyssey minivan is similarly mental. Its development demonstrates an obsessive deep dive into vexing issues, and the answers it offers are at once innovative and entertaining. Of course, like Odyssey of the Mind, these solutions are also somewhat senseless to anyone who isn't already deeply invested in the category, like me and my boyfriend, a pair of aging, childless, urban homosexuals. If you're out in the audience, says our 15-year-old niece of OOTM, as we drive her around Kona on Hawaii's Big Island during our recent family test drive of the 2018 van, it kind of just looks like a bunch of weird skits. The minivan category needs all the creativity it can muster the American market for these family schleppers hit its peak at the end of the last century, with annual sales around 1.4 million they've since plummeted and stabilized at just over 500,000 per annum, but so far this year, they're down almost 20% versus 2016. As with every other segment of the American automotive marketplace, their milkshake is being guzzled by crossovers, which, along with their more trucky counterparts, now account for nearly two in every three use vehicle purchases. That's a shame. Minivans can do so many things SUVs can with their one-box layout, they offer amazing capacity and flexibility for passengers and cargo with their dual sliding rear doors and low load floor, they provide unparalleled ease of ingress and egress. They provide superior fuel economy, thanks to thoughtful aerodynamics and lack of need for butch compensatory odd systems and oversized engines and with bountiful cup holders, USB ports, headphone inputs, screens and climate control zones, they grant passengers an indulgently individuated experience only an Emirates Airbus can rival, 